G'day, I'm Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab, and today we're going to check out an old friend of mine, <laughs> Catch Power. With their new, improved Catch Solar Relay. Now look, I'm, I'm pretty excited by this product because I actually use it here in the lab to do lots of clever things. And it's got even cleverer, now they've added Wi-Fi on top of Bluetooth connectivity. But it also can do stuff like control inverters. Um, it's, it's basically a smart meter. So let's just check it out. Um, got my little uh, camera here. So this, this packaging here is pretty small. Um, what you can see in the box is includes a small resistor. Now, um, that was one of the first things that um, I quizzed uh, <laughs> Catch about was, what's this resistor for? Well, this is part of that new connectivity. Well, it's really been there already. It's RS-485 uh, Modbus RTU. Now, if you don't know what any of those numbers mean, RS-485 is a communication protocol. Uh, Modbus RTU runs on top of that, and Modbus requires a terminated cable. And this is a 150 ohm resistor, which is used to terminate um, a Modbus uh, connection to make sure that there's no echo on the signal and it's nice and clean. So um, that's just a little feature. Of course, you'd have to supply your own data cable as part of that connection. But let's step right back. What is this thing altogether? Okay, so here we are. Um, this is the, the catch solar relay. Let's make sure you can see it here. Um, and it's really uh, kind of a bunch of devices in one. I mean, essentially what we're looking at here is an energy meter, an energy meter that's got a relay built in. And so it can control stuff based on a bunch of criteria. Uh, things like um, time of day. So for instance, let's say you want to turn something on at a certain time of day. Well, you can set that. And I should mention, uh, and I'll bring it on screen in a bit, is that you can do all this through an app on your phone. It's it's just awesome. So there's um, there's the there's the Catch Power app. Now the Catch Power app, I'm already logged in, so let's just go back to live data. Um, so the Catch Power app here allows me to uh, connect to one of these devices. Now I've got one in the room here. I might be just a little bit far away because it's Bluetooth um, between the two, which is kind of a security feature. It means that. Uh, you need to actually be standing in front of the equipment to program it so that your next door neighbor is not going to reprogram. Well, there you go. It's found it. So it's connecting to it. And uh, look, there we go. So we've got some uh, data coming up on the screen. So let's um, just look at that live data. So it's telling me things like what my grid voltage is, my frequency, um, and uh, in this case, exported energy and imported energy because it's got a CT. Now that's the other thing in the box here. There's a current transformer, or CT for short. Um, this CT has a little picture on the side so that you know which way to install it. So um, are you going to connect uh, it so that the arrow points towards your home? So the main conductor, usually the active conductor for the single phase installation that's coming into the main switchboard uh, will be uh, clipped around this. So this is a split core, means you can clip it around. So of course, this is being installed by an electrician because this is licensed electrical work, opening switchboards. Uh, and then it's got a symbol for the grid, which is uh, where the <laughs> incoming is. Um, this then measures current. So it's measuring the flow and the direction of current. That's one thing. The other is the meter itself uh, is measuring voltage uh, and frequency. So you now have got sort of kind of full power quality measuring device here. And based on uh, a bunch of factors, and uh, including time, because once it's uh, connected to your, your phone, it will, of course, find what the time is. And you've now uh, got a clock that can be programmed to turn a relay on and off. Now, the relay in this unit is quite small. It's really for controlling a contactor. So the relay um, can be driven from mains voltages, but it's only a three amp relay. So you're gonna use it uh, to drive a contactor to switch on larger loads. Uh, so times one. Another one is voltage. So based on what the grid voltage is, it can turn stuff on and off as well. Now you might think, well, what's the use of that? Well, many people who have solar have discovered that Whenever there's too much solar on the grid, the grid volts goes up and their inverter system turns off. And that's a requirement of our grid protection standard, 4777 part two. 
Uh, but it's exacerbated by the fact that you've your inverter itself is exporting power at the same time and actually um, increasing the problem, as it were. So it turns off. But if you were to switch on a heavy load, like a hot water service or a pool pump or something, it would actually draw that grid voltage down within your installation. And that may be enough to bring your inverter back online and generate power. So just being able to switch on loads due to voltage rise can actually mean that you'll be generating more renewable energy. Uh, another form of control though, this is really more useful uh, for off-grid systems, which is what we have here at the lab. We've got a off-grid mini grid, is that we've got a frequency controlled mini grid. What that means is that uh, whenever the microgrid battery system is full, the uh, frequency of the grid forming inverters slightly rises. It goes from 50 Hertz up to 52.5 Hertz. And over that range, uh, all the generation should start to, to shed, uh, become to get curtailed. Uh, so all the other solar inverters connected to the microgrid will reduce their power proportionally. But I can set this smart little thing so that when that occurs, when a certain frequency is achieved, and I, for instance, say 52.5 Hertz, meaning that the batteries are 100% full and we don't need any more generation, um, this could switch on a load. So that basically brings back solar uh, and starts powering that load again. So uh, this can be very useful for maximizing the amount of consumption in a off-grid uh, system or that's using frequency control. So really excited by that. Um, also, because you can have more than one um, condition, so for instance, I've got a backup generator. Yeah, generators aren't that good at maintaining a very stable frequency. And if it comes on in the middle of the night, I don't want it to, this device to switch on because the frequency shifted a bit. So I can set a lockout. I can say only use frequency shift um, switching of the relay between these hours, basically daylight hours when the generator is unlikely to have a run. So that's a, that's a real big plus as well. Now, the other thing, which uh, for a whole range of inverters, and the list's actually on the Catch Power website, you can connect um, the RS485 uh, output on this unit um, to the uh, inverter, and then it becomes basically the inverter's power meter. So you don't need to buy the manufacturer's power meter, you can use this as the power meter. And on top of that, it can then uh, be a smart load switch as well. So uh, this little thing can add a lot of functionality to a solar um, system on grid or off grid. That's why I'm excited for what my friends at Catch Power have done. Uh, it's just awesome. And by the way, if you didn't know this, this is an Australian invention and Australian made product. Uh, in New South Wales, the, there's a team of people in, in Glen Innes busily making these units. So it's actually a fully Australian made product. So good on them. Uh, and they've been in the market for quite a long time and really worked to make this um, uh, something that uh, a, is a really effective tool. Now, there's another product that they're more well known for, which is the Catch Power Diverter. I'll, I'll link that up here uh, when I've done a review on that. But that's uh, a different product, but it also is aimed at maximizing your use of renewables and saving your money. Anyway, thanks a lot, Catch Power. Really love your products. <laughs>